What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Oscar and I'm bringing you guys another video. On today's video, we're going to continue working on the 1969 BW Beetle. And I'm very excited because we we're very close to laying down some paint on this car. That's just a huge step for this project. Uh, with that being said, uh, one of the things that we have to do today is we have to put tape on all the edges so we can go ahead and mask up the car and get it ready for the first layer of paint, which is the sealer. Let's go ahead and start working on the car. All right, I'm going to take a minute to show you guys the tools that I'm going to be using for this paint job. Uh, so I picked up a Harbor Freight paint gun. It was fairly cheap, $50. I'm not going to be using this gun for the base coat. This is just going to be for the sealer and some primer. Um, we also have a kit right here for the cups. Um, it will make it easier for me to measure the paint. We got some acetone to clean the metal. Some strainers. So when we lay down the paint in the buckets, we want to put it through the strainer. And some tag cloth. We're going to use these with some acetone to clean the whole body before laying down that first coat of paint. Um, I also want to add, um, the reason why I don't feel comfortable using this gun to spray my base coat is because I've read a lot of things that the base coat is the kind of the most important part of the paint job. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase a gun from Eastwood and that's gonna run me about $250, but I read some great reviews about that gun so i really think it'll be worth spending that extra buck all right i got myself some tape and i'm going to tell you guys the plan so the plan is to put some tape on all the edges we'll start over here and then we'll move on to the windshield both doors both back windows as well as the rear window and the bay engine bay and once that's all done we'll go ahead and grab the uh, plastic wrap We'll throw it on top of the car, we'll open it, and once it's all open, then we'll start uh, pressing it against the tape, and that will seal and divide. I got me more tape. This one is kind of thick. Finish up the back window and passenger door. After that, we're gonna go ahead and lay the uh, plastic tarp over it. I'll sh go ahead and show you guys that. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Moment of truth. So here's the tarp that I was talking about. This thing is 13 feet by 16 feet. 
So I think that's a big enough to cover the whole car. Hopefully I'm not wrong. But let's go ahead and throw this over the car. Okay, that covers the whole car. Okay, now we have to go around and get the tape to stick to that plastic. If we do that, then we'll grab the blade and cut the rest of it off. And then we'll have the sections that we want to get paint on. The back window and the passenger door, as well as the back window right here. Look at this, how close we are. That's not going to be enough. So I'm thinking once I cut this right here, then we can use this to push it down a little bit more. Hopefully that will work because we're just missing like a couple inches. It sucks. Okay, that worked. Just got the rest of it off. Let's go back to the front. So I got the blade, and we're just gonna simply just cut the big pieces off first, and then we'll focus on cutting it closer to the tape later. What's going on guys? As you guys seen in the first part of this video, I uh, was working on the 69 BW Beetle. We needed to take a break because we needed to drive to Long Beach, California. Uh, my brother-in-law is graduating for Long Beach University. Today, we needed to be here for him on this very special moment. So his graduation is at six o'clock today. Um, right now it is 11 o'clock. We're driving to get some breakfast with Amanda's family. And then after that, we're gonna try to hit up the Moon Eye store. Once we do that, then maybe we can go ahead and find a skate park around there and we can do a little bit of shredding. And after that, we're just gonna go ahead and go back to the house and relax because we do have to drive back to San Jose tomorrow. Hope you guys have been enjoying this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
let's get this day started. So we made it to Moon Eyes. That 30 minute drive was so worth it. We're here and we're gonna go ahead and go inside and check if they're gonna let us film or not. But overall, I'm gonna go inside there and try to buy one or two products from them and then we'll go ahead and head to the skate park. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to be born anew Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew That was literally the best experience of my life. That store is like a like a candy store for me. I just wanted to buy everything in there, but I can't. So we picked a keychain and a floor mat for the garage, and I'm pretty satisfied. So it's starting to get a little bit hot, so I really think it's time to hit the skate park. So let's go ahead and head over there. Oh, oh, oh. 
taste it and then take it. All right, so we're back in the garage. We are ready to lay down some paint. So one of the first things that we need to do right now is we're gonna go ahead and grab that acetone. We're gonna put it on one of those tech. We're gonna go ahead and clean the whole metal, make sure that there's no dirt, grease, or oil on the metal before we start mixing our paint. Once we mix our paint, then we're just gonna go ahead and put it in the paint gun. We're gonna go ahead and spray it. Big day today. And another thing that I want to say is I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous to lay down this paint on my car. This is my first time spray painting with a paint gun. So I don't, don't know what to expect, but I've done pretty much everything that I can in order for me to be prepared and ready to do my best job on this paint job. So with that being said, Let's go ahead and get started, and if anything goes wrong, it'll be okay. We got some dirt already. I'm gonna go ahead and get a new one. I got another one. All right, so I just went over the whole car again with one of the rags, and it seems like it's ready for paint. I don't see that much dirt coming out of it. I mean, I used one rag to go to go over the whole entire car and it seems like it's still pretty clean there's not too much dirt on the car anymore let's go ahead and start prepping our paint and we'll get to that point where we lay down the first coat on this car all right so we're gonna go ahead and start by doing the roof and then once we do the roof we're gonna do all of these cracks then we're gonna go do the panels so let's start
Looks really good. So I just got done laying down that first coat. I'm gonna wait about 30 to 45 minutes. Then we'll put down that second coat. Then we'll come back tomorrow. And we'll go ahead and uh, put some filler on it and start working on some dents that we try to fix with the dent puller, but it's still gonna need a little bit of bondo to make it as flat as possible. And after we're done with those, then we'll lay down our high build primer. And with that, we can go ahead and start blocking the whole entire car. Looks good though. Let's go ahead and wait and throw that second coat in. All right, there you have it. Second coat, looks really good. It is 10 o'clock at night. I think I'm gonna go to bed, come back tomorrow. Well, before I go to bed, I have to clean my pain gun and then I can go to bed. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys like this video, so I can go ahead and bring you guys more um if you think i did something wrong just make sure drop a comment right down below i reply to all my comments and I've, another thing that i want to mention is a lot of you guys are watching the videos but are not subscribing and that's not good so if you watch more than two videos or three videos make sure you hit that subscription button so you can go ahead and help the channel out i'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers as soon as possible that would help us a lot. So thank you very much and I'll catch you guys next time.